Well, Pikeville's mayor is in serious trouble with the law, charged with stealing and misusing a quarter of a million dollars in taxpayer money. People serving under him seem to be protecting Greg Johnson from our questions. News Channel Line's John Pless joins us now to explain. John. Well, Calvin, once again, we tried to speak with Mayor Johnson, but he's not talking. As you will see, it appears he was hiding from us with help from his police chief. After posting a $10,000 bond, Pikeville Mayor Greg Johnson never stepped down or took a leave of absence as the criminal case against him develops in court. He's still on the city's payroll. Here's what people in town are saying about it. It does seem odd. I think I, think I would resign immediately. But... Yeah, I don't know where in the world you could find him. And neither did we until later. City employees gave us different stories. He's out of the office, no one knows where he is or how to contact him, or he's on the phone. After about an hour, Police Chief Ronald Byrd came out of the back office. It's Greg back there. Uh, it's Greg back there. I didn't see him. Well, he was on the phone, but he's not on that's Chief Byrd saying he did not see the mayor back there. The chief returns to the back office, then comes back out to the reception area, and look. A minute later, Mayor Greg Johnson comes out looking right toward our camera. I had a guilty conscience to me. You know, I don't want to be talking to nobody, you know what I'm saying? A state comptroller investigation shows Mayor Johnson illegally spent $250,000 in taxpayer money for his personal use. The audit shows he spent more than $100,000 on vehicles the city never used, but he gave one of them to his daughter and took another one to a Miami vacation. He kept the car stored inside a building. Johnson is also accused of falsely billing taxpayers $1,700 a month for health insurance he never bought. You know, it really made me upset and mad when I found out that he took the taxpayer's money also and he bought his daughter a car. City Attorney Ed Boring says he will not file ouster proceedings, instead leaving the criminal case to the courts. But residents think he should step down now. Because that's a lot of money that's missing. Taxpayer so, money? Yeah. yeah. My money. <laughs> yes. Obviously, Mayor Johnson did not want to come out and talk with me. I did leave my business card at the front desk, but... He hasn't called. City aldermen are scheduled to meet tonight, but no one would say today if they'll talk about the mayor or the investigation. Mayor Johnson is due in court on the criminal charges September 26th. Galvin? Thanks, John.